Yo, welcome to another Gloria Victus guide. This is going to be on a archer build. There'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to jump to a certain part of the video. I hope you enjoy this one, guys. I hope it helps. Let's get on with the video. All right, so there's going to be three parts to this video. We're going to do armor, attribute points, and then ability points. I'm going to start off with armor because it's going to be the fastest part. It's extremely easy. It's extremely simple. You want all light armor. You know, head, shoulders, gloves, chest piece, legs, and boots. The reason you want light armor, I'll explain that now. If you see here the damage multiplier, mine is 0.98. That's because I have a light shield on, so I lose 2% damage. It's Honestly, you really want to have a light shield. I'll get onto that in a minute. But let me explain and show you why you want all light armor on. Light armor on. So if I go onto my bow, there we go, my damage is 0.98. If I put these medium boots on for it, that'll give me a little bit more slash defense. You'll see my damage has now gone to 0.95. So by changing them boots, I now lose 3% damage. And honestly, as an archer, you know, you're gonna be stood at the back, you want the absolute best damage you can get. And with me saying that, some of you people might be thinking, well, why have you got the uh, why have you got the light shield on then? Because you're losing 2% damage. I'm going to show you a clip of that right now. Why it is so important to have a light shield. Because even as an archer you are going to end up in sword fights. As an archer you're going to be using a dagger. Because you'll get the best damage out of that. And also you can get a bleed effect with it. So then you can just like bolt backwards with your shield. You know protecting yourself. But anyway let's have a look at that clip. You can skip it. It's about a minute long. Um, I'll put some text up. And you'll know when to. Well. If you want to skip it, just look at the timestamps and I'll say, like, skip shield fight. But anyway, yeah, let's check that clip out. Go for a kick, go for a kick. Go for a kick. Got him, got him, got him. Yes, mate. Little, little, little. You're on, there's two more coins. One more, one more, one more. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, I'm not sorry. Two more, two more, two more. Two more, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. If you can get them from behind here. Attack. There's four more, there's an archer, archer, fucking hell. Archer at the top. We killed one, we killed one. Come boys, come, 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 come. I'm coming One's wounded, one's wounded. Clemens is low. Clemens, back off, back There's the Abel's as well, mate. Yeah, fuck him. Mate, we're fucking destroying these, pal. Right, I'm gonna bow, you two fight, you two fight, I'll bow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's more, more, there's another three, there's another three. Tagged him. Fuck me. Bandaging. Help nice, me. Eric, nice, dude. There's guys on the beach, careful. There's fucking yeah, loads, fuck, boys. Back, top, back, top, back, top, back, top, back, top, back, back. Did they want to boy? Alright, so as you can see in that clip, my, my shield tanked a lot of his. I think it was on like maybe 10 20 percent durability or hp or whatever you want to call it left um but yeah my and my tank did a lot of, my shield did a lot of work there. i mean a lot of work so anyway yeah definitely you want to be carrying a light shield anything over a light shield you're going to be losing too much damage you want to go full light armor but let's get on to the next part of the video we're going to go on to attribute points all right so onto the attribute points super simple um you don't need no strength at all. Increases stamina and stamina regeneration, increases base damage, increases slashes, increases slashing damage reduction. That doesn't help your bow, it doesn't help your dagger. You don't need it. Constitution, increase health and health regeneration, increase stamina and stamina uh, regeneration, increase bludgeoning damage reduction. Obviously you're gonna need some health and you're gonna need some stamina, so you're gonna want anything between 150 to 200 at the absolute max in constitution. I'm going to be redoing mine, I'm gonna be putting mine up to 180 and then the rest into decks. So you wanna go between 150 and then 200 in constitution for the health and the stamina, mainly for the stamina. But honest to God, it's mainly for the stamina. And then after that, you just want everything into decks so you can get the maximum damage with your bow and the maximum damage with your dagger. And that is it. Attribute points is super simple. Like I said, 150 to 200 and then everything, just whack it all in decks. Absolutely everything. So anyway, on to the last part. Let's get on to the abilities. All right, so on the abilities, 
you can always do this how you see fit you know what you think could be best this is how i did it i think i may end up changing it a little bit but this is my this was my first build um the three abilities at the bottom you don't need shield bash and you don't need reaper i take these because i think shield bash is a good thing like they're just these are bonus attacks these are extra attacks obviously the shield bash makes it so i can bash people the reaper makes it so i can hit multiple enemies with a 200 sword and i do use a 200 sword every now and then especially when pvming you know doing pv and stuff like that and then if i've got multiple you know like say two people and they're both using 200 swords a dagger will be good but I think I'm a better fighter with a 200 sword, so I may pull it out every now and then. That's why I got Reaper. But anyway, yeah, you don't need Shield Bash and you don't need Reaper, but they are handy to have. But anyway, onto the main build. Marksman. You 100% want Marksman. Gives you strong knife attacks called Bleeding to the Enemy. So whenever you hit someone with a dagger, it's going to make them bleed. And um, you pull your bow back a lot faster. You know what I mean? So you've got to have Marksman. After that... Powering up into athlete, which gives you stamina drain when kicking, sprinting, and swimming in is reduced by 2%. You've got to have stamina. If you run out of stamina, you are dead. It is simple as that. You want all the stamina you can get. After athlete, breath control, stamina regeneration is increased by 3%, giving you a total of 30% when you get it to level 10. Then I went off to the right here and got dirty fighter, backstab, damage is increased by 0.5, so plus 5% when you get it to level 10. And here's the best part. Headshot damage is increased by 1% per level in this passive, additional 10% at level 10. That's giving you a total of 20% headshot damage with your bow at level 10. You 100% want that. Then, onto the next one. Stamina drain while attacking and holding a weapon is reduced by 1.5% per level of this passive ability. Yeah, he's kind of 50-50 this. You could have got, you couldn't go Huntsman on the right. I went for this one in the center because I think the stamina drain while attacking and holding a weapon is reduced by 1.5% per level of his passive. I like that because like I said I use two handers every now and then and it helps with the dagger. Then veteran maximum stamina is increased by 2% per level of his passive. You really 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 want this because you're getting a plus 20% stamina when you get it to level 10. That's another reason why I went up for this one instead so I could get veteran straight after. Then I went up to the right for bullseye Regenerates part of your stamina after performing three headshots within 30 seconds. 2% per level, additional 10% at level 10. So you get this to level 10, and if you can hit three headshots in a row within 30 seconds, you will get 30% stamina back. Boom, that's beautiful. Then we've got Sting, increased damage dealt by piercing attacks, which is your bow by 2%, additional 3% at level 10, so you get plus 5% damage with your bow in total at level 10. Then I went for what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Health regeneration is increased by 2% per level in this passive, giving you plus 20% health regeneration. Now, this is where a lot of people will change their opinions. Um, you've got unstoppable and survival instinct. A lot of archers go with survival instinct. I go with unstoppable because stun effect on your character is changed. Basically, if someone kicks your shield when you're holding it up, instead of being stuck, um, stood there and not being able to move or anything you can still walk away you just can't put, use your shield or your weapon that can save your life especially if you're fighting another archer and he's got a dagger because he won't have the range to hit you so you can just walk away from that dagger here um but survival instincts will make it when you drop under 40 percent health um when you're being shot in the back you won't lose run speed like if you get hit you can't sprint this makes it when you're under 40% health, if you get hit, you can carry on sprinting. But as an archer, you're low HP anyway. So when you get onto four, under 40%, one to two more hits, one headshot or two more hits in the body and you're dead anyway. So I just don't, I can't see that ever saving me. Uh, unstoppable, I always take unstoppable. I just, I think that's the best one out of all of them. But anyway, that's the passive abilities. Um, obviously change this up how you feel fit but me personally i think this works best for me but it might not work best for you here is just a base idea on what you can go for but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helped your archer build or helped you learn something 
Make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button for future Gloria Victor's videos. Drop a comment on anything you feel you'd like, you'd like to say, you know, whether it was thanks for the help or I think you could do this better. Literally anything, just drop a comment below. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace out.